at the end, they go up in price. Hey, right? This is my goal, right? And now you're thinking how I can accomplish that you know, nice and smooth by doing this. So you have to decrease the friction between your toes and the floor, right? And when you decrease the friction, So you, you know the idea of decreasing the friction, hey, right? So probably that's why when you hop, you when you hop like this, hopping will decrease the friction because your toes are kind of hovering or almost not touching, but slightly touching, right? Hey. So you have to create that when you move the handle. Remember this? Hey, each. And that's what we are doing, Jack, as well. So to decrease the friction, you want to take weight off. Hey, from the right foot, right toes. Because if you have weight on the toes, it increases the friction. Hey, so you can't move easily take the weight off and you can start moving like this okay and go each knee sun she go that is our aim hey and also keep the posture straight like this keep this straight weight on the left toes and you go don't move this part right yeah, that's right. So you go point in time. Right? So when you move, when you move forward, you have to take the, take the weight off from the toes. Right? You don't lift up. Still touching, but off. So like you did, you hop. So you create less friction. Right? Hey, so your job is to get the hang of it. Get how, get how you feel. Right? But, but to accomplish kindle movement, you have to keep this flat as possible. As flat as possible. That's why taking weight off has the same effect. Right? Hopping versus this taking weight off from the right foot, right? And my, my vertical axis shift into my left, right? Hey, that's free, that's free. So same effect, hopping up involves whole body, but weight shift just involves this. Hey, it's free. Right? And then when you go forward, yay! There you go, it's easy, man. 